Stop hitting yourself. Only shooting stars break the mold. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Brawl Stars. I'm Amy the Amazonian, and today I'm playing once again another companion from Baldur's Gate, Shadowheart. Sharon Cleric, specifically the Rakdos specialized version. This is one of our favorite companions, not just because she's a little disdainful babe, but because she is, well, very flavorful, dealing damage to both us and our opponent. Uh, what a sweet spellcaster we have right here. So this deck is all about dealing damage to us and dealing damage to our opponent. Her main ability, which is present in all of her forms, is actually to deal damage to both players at your end step. But if you specialize her into black, she has lifelink, so she gains that back. But that's boring. We can give her lifelink using other abilities. In red, during your turn, whenever you lose life, you deal that much damage to each opponent, which is so much fun because you get to pay life for whatever you want. Maybe you're losing life to Bitter Blossom. Maybe you're, uh, you know, destroying the biggest enchantment on the field or the biggest creature paying some life with black market connections, losing life to the one ring, or paying seven to draw seven with our good friend Grizzlebrand. There are so many different ways to have Shatterheart hurt us to hurt our opponent. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, self-inflicted wounds, as you can see in the title here, that really do benefit us. And there's some classic cards like Thoughtseize that just have you lose life. These are spells you cast at sorcery speed and they do end up bleeding you out just enough to take out your opponent. In order to specialize Shadowheart though, you do need to have 13 or life less or your opponent needs to have 13 or life less or less life. So play aggressively or just pay a lot of life until you get down to 13, specialize her and then ideally give her lifelink. Basilisk Collar, Shadow Sphere doing some good work because when she is in her red Cleric of War form, uh, she actually is the one who deals the damage to your opponent, which means that you will gain that life back using lifelink. Uh, my favorite piece with her is probably Bolus's Citadel because you can just keep paying life, playing cards off the top of your deck until you hit too many lands. You can also use cards like Staff of Completion to draw cards, untap it, draw more cards, paying a lot of life, dealing a lot of damage to your opponent. It's super fun. And if you're saying, hmm, Amy, this deck seems really familiar, it's because the backup commander for this deck is Rowan, Sign of War, which I did recently build. Uh, Rowan is really cool and also works very well with the other cards in this deck. So it's great to have these two ladies here together. So we're going to take our Racto self-inflicted wounds into the queue to hurt me, to hurt you. Nicol Bolas the Ravager enters the battlefield, makes you discard and can transform into a nasty planeswalker that draws cards, kills things, reanimates things. I don't even remember what his ultimate ability does. Exiles all but the bottom card of target player's library. Yeah, that. It, it does that. Hello? Hi. Aw, they're blowing me kisses. Let's see what they're thinking about. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking about some of those cards too. I'll blow them a kiss too. Kisses back and forth. Forever. Bringing out Shadow Heart. Boop, boop. I wonder if this is a crime deck with a clone crafter. Oh, Black Market Connection. That's one of my faves. Ow, my life total. You want to draw extra cards? I'm not even going to, like, flash this out with that there. I'm just bringing it out now. One of us is going to be at 13 life. Ah, classic. Full send. I can specialize Shadowheart next turn. Nicole Bolas coming out. I'm gonna drop Staff of Completion. Wait. Stopping Breach the Multiverse. Just in case. Just in case. The in case has been just. You specialize into red.
And then immediately. Gotta do it. Ow. Totally worth it. You should totally pay the six. You should, you should totally pay the six. Ah, they just paid the one. They have seven mana if they want to transform Nikki B. Swing in, transform, kill Shadowheart. Or just transform into blah, 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 blah. this guy. Hey, Nikki B. Anything good to reanimate? I mean, Crucius is a good card. But I think Shadowheart has to die. Move her to the command zone. Do not despecialize her. It costs five mana. Which is totally fine, because we have mana to spare. Whee! Draw a card. That was a good game. Love it. Nissa Resurgent Animist. Landfall makes a mana. Double landfall makes a mana and get an elf or elemental. Uh, I have three mana in this hand, all black, and a lot of it's slow and hurts us. Perfect. Keep that hand. We'll probably just throw down Phyrexian Arena and use it to try and get more mana. Maybe some red mana. Just red cards in general. Oh, look, red mana. Perfect. Throw down Shadow Heart. Deal a damage to each player. The game is tied. The goose is down! Hmm. Guess they didn't want to go for Nyssa here. Suppose swinging for two doesn't seem too nuts. Nice. Next turn I'll deal some damage to me, too. Shadowheart shares the love. I see four mana. They could play Nyssa and get a, like, a land into play. No, they don't want that landfall ability. Hmm. Oh, they want big Nyssa. Hey, big Nyssa. Minus to destroy this or plus to make a guy. So she has four loyalty and I'm killing her. Bye. Bye, Nyssa. I just don't want to think about it. She's scary. Solemn Simulacrum gets them a land into play. Another forest. They now have three snow, which is relevant for some various cards. They also have 16 life left. Could I bring them low enough this turn? I don't think so. That's fine. We will throw down two more things that let us lose life. Which is all we want to do. Lose a lot of life. All I have to do is pay five, then one, and then bam, 13. Or I guess four. Four would be make a creature, make a treasure. Oh, hey, other Nessa. Tatterheart, you want to trade with a land? Is this just all Nissas? Like, I, I do appreciate a good oops all Nissa. Don't pay the six. We don't. Amy. Amy! I have literally no self-control. Not when it comes to Shadowheart! Alright, we're gonna go ahead and turn into the red Shadowheart. Rakdos for the Smackdos. Mind Spike. Hey, what you got in that hand? Something good? Something evil? Some way that you could protect yourself? Amy safekeeping. Oh, um. 
Now he's devastation. Ooh, I lose two life. You lose two life. They also gained some life there. I'll let you draw another card, though. I'm gonna hit the Nissa. Perfect. Damage for me, damage for you. More damage for you. Hey, you want to see me lose some life? I'm about to lose all of it. I'm about to lose my mind losing all of this life. <laughs> Was it the voice actress for uh, Shadowheart that referred to her as God's favorite princess? Because that's a great, great way to refer to her. Oh, nice. Tribute to the World Tree with Scoot Swarm is awesome. Turn them all into three threes. All right, well, I don't get to pay the six. I'm sorry. I know you're all very disappointed in me. If I hit them, I'm not using my commander's ability well enough. Hmm. I'm trying to think of, like, what is the most fun way? Because we, ki we kill them no matter what this turn. It's just a matter of how do we kill them. Yeah. Enjoy some cards. Oh, wow, that's crazy, bro. That's so crazy. Lots of cards. Lots of cards. Atrios. Shroud, Veiled, able to take creatures and bring them under their control, or just reanimate their own creatures when they die or are exiled. Gotta put those coins on those critters. Hi there, Atrios. This is also one of Theros' gods that requires seven devotion to become an actual factual creature. Otherwise, it just sits on the battlefield as an enchantment and does an awful lot of work from there. Throw down this blood crypt. I don't think I need to do that damage to myself early enough. I think against this deck, we will be dealing damage to them. They'll probably be dealing some damage to us. One of us will hit 13 eventually. Our good friend Shadowheart. Ah, and time for the backup commander, Rowan. And we even have a pain land to help her out. Shadowheart and Rowan's abilities don't work that well with each other, but they work together with a lot of the same cards. Uh, no purpose for me to activate Rowan. Since there's nothing I really want to destroy with Feed the Swarm. Ping pong! Rowan's ability is Sorcery Speed, so like by the time Shadow Heart has activated, it's too late. Nice, but they're almost at 13! Because I'm drawing a card. I think we are golden in this game. In fact, they know it. We're going to be able to bring them to 13, specialize, Feed the Swarm possibly on our own cards. Maybe play a Grizzlebrand this turn? We can play Grizzlebrand this turn. GG. Winota, joiner of forces. An aggressive creature deck that's all about attacking with non-creatures, or sorry, attacking with non-human creatures to get human creatures out of library. Indestructible and swinging in. Uh, this is the nerf version of Winota, nerf Fervina, uh, that only triggers once per combat. If you attack with one or more non-human creatures, you get the trigger. So, no point in building up a crazy number of tokens. Though you still totally can. Hey there, Kite Sail Cleric. Get that off the board. Thalia, who taxes my non-creature spells. Okay, I'll play a creature. It's Shadowheart! I'll say even though this Winota is nerfed, she's still very strong. Ah, oh, Redan, who is not a human. She is a god! I'll offer them a trade. They're not interested, they want to keep this alive. Uh, I could either play Shuldred, just kind of setting myself up with a blocker, or I could kill Winota in response to this ability. That's probably a better idea. Or killing Redan. I 
For this turn, I'll kill Rodan. This is a human creature, so attacking in does not get them the extra critter. Attack in with Shadowheart. Care to trade? No? Okay, take the two damage. I don't need to be paying the life right now. Soon, though. Soon! Soldiers are gonna sit here and be a 4-5. I need a red card in hand to discard. Or a mountain. Oh, bye, Sheldred. Oop. Oop. Down to nine. Oh, Tavern Swindler of my beloved. I mean, this is kind of a red card, but I don't think it counts. Yeah, it, do it doesn't count because it's only black on the front face. That's too bad. Because you know I want to do silly stuff. Uh, I could still turn this into a uh, lifelinking creature. That's not as fun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Angrus Marauders. Actually, probably should have hit that for my potential extra turn. That would be neat. I'm going to specialize into black here. Specializing into black gives me lifelink, which is fine. But a little boring. If she dies, we can choose to despecialize her. Valia gets a plus one, plus one counter. If she dies, they get a 2-2 two, two knight. Still all humans here. By the way, also a human. Also a human. Also a human. Everything is humans. Cost seven, right? Okay. Cost, you cost seven, right? Five, six, seven. Double damage, double the fun. Ooh, look at that extra damage. Look at that extra damage! That was double to me, too. Alright, Shadowheart. Finish this game! By sitting there and doing nothing. Nice win! The first sliver! Hello, Poncho. Is this actually a slivers deck? Or are you just playing five color good stuff? We'll find out by playing against them. So, the first sliver has Cascade and gives slivers Cascade, which is great for sliver decks. If this is a sliver deck. Which it might not be. We, we honestly won't know until we get a little bit further into the game. That's fine, I'll throw down Shadowheart, and I'll do what my deck does, independent of what their deck does. Table the Mirror Breaker, just get myself a little bit of Rakdos good stuff here. Between Shadowheart and my goblins. Three damage. Four lands. Is this gonna be Ramp? A board wipe? Luca! Still gonna say, could go either way. Luca is good with just generally creatures. That's a Phyrexian beast. Uh, I'm gonna drop the Eidolon, because I don't think they're gonna be casting that many creatures. Keep the rest. I wanna have the basic mountain here for Shadowheart. Beep beep! Out of the way! Two, three, four. I got Luca. Get some stuff dealt to face. And here comes Karoshus. Um, I will discard Feed the Swarm. Get something that costs more. I'm very ambitious. I am ambitious. Well, hi there, the first sliver. What do you cascade into? It's a Lanorn Loam Speaker. Still, again, this could be a Slivers deck. 
the world may never know. If only I had saved my lightning bolt. I could use it to hit them right here. Um, kind of like swinging with some stuff here. Let them eat up one of the attackers. Or do I just set up one of my fave cards ever? Black Market Connections. I think we do that. Chandra! Plus! Black Market Connections! Perfect! Pass the turn. I'll, I'll drop the Abrade, I think. As long as I have that mountain, I think we're fine. Good thing that costs more. Petrol Coat. Nice. I actually have enough mana to play that too, which means I can make Shadow Heart into a Death Touch Indestructible. Very good at blocking 7-7s. Seven In we go! Burning up all that beautiful treasure. I could have Chandra and Abraded to kill this first sliver, but killing the first sliver really does not help that much. It's one of those, you get the 7-7 seven, seven off the battlefield, but then they cast it again, and they cast Kate again. Alright, it's a tapped land, so this is not coming back out this turn. They have six mana, though, for... Oh. Alright. Bye. Dang it. Alright. Well, that, this still gets me somewhere that I want to be. Two damage. Shadow Heart. Specialize into red. You may have taken away my tools, my play toys, my fun, but I'm still gonna do the thing, which is damage to you. I have a pain land ready. I've got a little man land. I have Chandra, who's just like a threat. She's a threat, she's good. Relic of Legends taps for mana of any color. Let's them tap Legends for mana of any color. Chandra, who can kill Shadowheart. You wanna go, tough guy? Bye, Shadowheart. I miss you already. We're not gonna despecialize her, so she costs seven. Ha! Seven. Right here. Um, I'm going to use this, though. Ooh. I just want to attack. I think it's better to attack here. And then use Castle Lock Twain. Three there. Send the goblin at Chandra. And now this Chandra is able to ult. The first sliver cascades into fight rigging, which will get them a card. One of the cards from the top five of their deck will be cast for free if they want to. It's a mystery. What could it be? They also have three mana here since they can tap the first sliver. Explore. Okay. Drawing a card. Kaya! Oh, you're scary. I can't stand by. Gain three, drain three. There's nothing really good to hit with this minus three. I think that's the right move. All right, and we are going to also lose some life. But we like losing life with this deck. <laughs> Hi, Meat Hook Massacre. Go ahead and ult some of this. X equals one. Pew. And the last damage from the Meat Hook Massacre, right to their face. Nice. Don 
Henry, Anarch of Bolas. This person hates counter spells. That's why you play this commander. You love aggro and you hate counter spells. Domri ramps you up, makes your creatures stronger, and lets them fight. Also makes it so your creature spells can't be countered during a turn. Which is pretty awesome. At least I think so. Um, do I feel like I need this as a land? No, I don't. Behold, a swamp. Oh, <gasps> turn one ramp. Land or elf? Elvish mystic. Same idea. Go ahead and get our ramp out here. People in chat are saying Domri was just a dumb teenager. Yep, and now he's dead. Really encapsulates a lot of dumb teenagerness. Got one extra mana here. They could also just be plussing since there's nothing to minus into. Ooh, a Soul Scar Mage turns damage into minus one, minus one counters. Ooh, no! Rude with that minus two. I'm still playing Shadowheart here. Looking to keep her alive with Malkir Rebirth or kill something if they're trying to fight. Bonus, I also get to lose life for this. Let's lower that life total. It's possible that they like follow up with a shock. Oh, look! It is another fight! Boop! I guess I'll move my commander to the command zone, because this fizzles. I do have a Cruelty of Gix, which will let me reanimate a creature. Eventually! You're still on two lands. Oh, there's a third. They killed their mana dork, though. Got a two-drop to play. It's a Goblini! Goblin and Narcomancer! I'm just gonna throw down the Cruelty of Gix, take a look at their hand, drop a creature or Planeswalker from it, such as... There's no creatures or Planeswalkers. There, there, were no, there were no creatures or Planeswalkers in their hand. There's a Turn Timber Symbiosis, which only costs six instead of seven, because they have a Goblin or a Narcomancer. They can make four mana here, play a fifth the land. Hi, Domre. Yes, hello. Is this a creature? Nath of the Dire Hunt. Neat. Kind of makes me wish I ran six mana Chandra in this deck, but I don't. Um, I like the idea of playing something like this Chandra, but unfortunately I don't quite have the mana. Uh, I like Shuldred a lot. The One Ring would also be a pretty good pick here. But I'm going to throw down Shuldred because she will gain me life and passively deal some damage to my opponent. Uh, Naeth, by the way, uh, can double up a creature's power. Pretty nice. They could uh, use that, just attack into Shuldred, force a trade, or they could use Domri to fight post-combat. They have enough mana to do that. Oh, they're going for it! Nice! Cruelty of Gix, though. We are, we are totally bringing this back next turn. Hi, Sheldred. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us today. Play our Shadow Heart. I have no red cards in hand. So I can only specialize into black, which, you know, gaining life is important. But not as important to me as doing silly stuff with Shadow Heart. As they go to combat, I might just kill Naeth. 
Maybe wait until they pay their mana. They can declare her as an attacker. Boop. Would you like to fight? Yeah, we won't answer to other guilds. One, two, three, four mana. Torolf, God of Fury, turns excess damage, non-combat damage, such as from fight, into burn to another target. It's pretty spooky. Hey, can I... Can a girl get a red card? Thank you for the card draw, Sheldred. I appreciate it, Sheldred. We got two Death Touchers here. Pearl does has have Trample. I feel like they could use Domri minus... Not quite enough. They could just cast Turn Timber Symbiosis. Oh, wait, and they don't deal damage. Soul Sword Sage says no damage is dealt. Just minus one, minus one counters. Cool. Oh, hey, Samut. This Samut has haste. And she says, come at me, bro. Um, if I take this from both of them, go real low. Well, a Prophet, would you save me? Where are the cards? They get to draw. That is a swamp. Just do more damage to me. All right. I don't want to specialize into black. But I think I have to. Taking out Domri. Playing the Gatekeeper. They'll go for a creature. Armor up. Just in case you want to play any creatures free combat. Or try to fight me. You can fight something else. Arcane Signet. Trigger that prowess. Turn Timber Symbiosis? Yeah! Alright, what do they get? Pop seven cards, get a creature. And that creature is Legion Warboss, who spits out a little goblin. A little goblin on the battlefield. Swinging in all of these. Uh, I will take five block tiny goblin. That way they don't draw a card. And we... So there's our lifelink again. Girl, where were you before? We're putting this on Shadow Heart because now she has Death Touch Trample. We're swinging in. Go for it, ladies. And they die, because Trample Death Touch. Not how I wanted to win, but still a victory. Thalia, Guardian of Thribbin! Just a really good white card. It's gonna be some mono-white aggro, and she's gonna be taxing my non-creature spells, like you and you. Still not too mad about this opening, especially drawing this Orcish Bowmasters, because there's a lot of one-toughness stuff. And I got the stuff to kill things with one toughness. Also, Orcish Bowmasters, since I can't play a creature right away anyway. We wait until they attack, and then we throw down with the Bowmasters. This way, I've got a 1-1 to block the recruitment officer. 
And we get to ping Thalia for one. <gasps> Surge of Salvation! The ability is blanked. Damage from red and black sources is also blanked. Fine. I didn't want to be friends with you anyway. Me and my orcs are going home. Oh, okay, bye. Emoti, celebrant of bounty. She ramps and cascades, giving her other big spells cascade too. Nice Yargle and Multani. Just a couple big ones. Sadly, sadly, you can't put Yargle and Multani into this deck. Color identity does not quite line up. But imagine if it did. Imagine! Always bolt the bird or feed on the delighted halfling. Yes, that's what they all say. Cold steel heart. Uh, I could make them sacrifice it. But I'm going to go for iron crack at the shire shadow heart instead. Feel some damage to me. Feel some damage to you. Pew pew. I love feeding hobbits to vampires. I'm a big fan. Oh, that growth spiral did not hit a land. This ramp deck isn't ramping. So I'm, I'm gonna give y'all like a little pro tip. When the ramp deck can't ramp, attack the ramp they do have. Land destruction is now fair game. It's an emoti deck, all right? It's an emoti deck. Nice! Two mana you got there. Oh gosh, they've had a third land. Oh, no more ramp! Quick, black market connection! Pay the six! Where would we be without paying the six? Nowhere, that's where. I'll swing in with my den of the bugbear and my legitimate business citizen. Yep. That's, that's her. Just a legitimate business citizen. Still win, though. Because we attacked the ramp. GG. It's Winota, joiner of forces. Hi there, Winota. Winota is all about attacking with non-human creatures to cheat in human creatures. Human creatures is such a weird phrase. So what I really like about this land, this hand is that it's all pain lands. Pain, pain, agony, sadness, violence, destruction. My life total is going to be so low and me and Rowan are going to be all about it. Life is pain. No pain, no gain, except for all the pain and all the gain we've got. Hmm, I have cappuccino. There's no pain here. Oh, tiny birdie! So I have some instant speed removal I can use on Winota. Um, I think that that is a fine use of the next turn, assuming that they do bring out Winota. And if not, I have Lightning Bolt and Bowmasters. Otherwise, I would have played Rowan on the last turn. Shivin Devastator! Oh, okay. Um, I'll take three from that. But I'm also going to kill this tiny birdie. Tweet, tweet, tweet. I'm down trading some blows. In fact, let's lower this life total. They will attack me, bringing me below 13. I will attack them and bring them below 13. Here comes Winota. They attack in, and what human do they get? Elite Spellbinder. Hey, don't look at those. Oh, okay. 
they didn't hit the lightning bolt. We're good. We're good. Uh, Rowan actually not doing that much for me here. This thought seize will be doing something for me. Uh, I will pay with this. And this. To specialize into red. To... No, I'm gonna drop the lightning bolt. Equip Shadow Heart with this. Do a bunch of the thing. Uh huh. Oh! Mmm! Of course. That one. Swing it in, swing it in. Oh my god, if I had attacked with the Bowmasters, it would have been lethal. I actually missed that. Math! It's what's for breakfast. <laughs> How is Arena Winota different? She can only trigger once per attack, so it's one or more non-human creatures attacking rather than triggering for each one. Oh, uh... This will deal one damage, but also gain them one life. Hi, Urken Brand. Ping pong. Ow. Can I have my Shadow Heart back? No. Okay, backup commander. Finish the job. Thank you, Rowan. We love you, Rowan. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Brawl Stars! As always, if you'd like to watch me record these live and go through my deck building process, come on over to twitch.tv slash Amazonian, where I stream almost every single day. And I get to have fun with cards like Shadow Heart, who actually came out like a year ago, but, you know, Baldur's Gate 3 came out like a month ago, so we get to have fun with these cards all over again. See, now I know what she's like as a character. And I love her, and she hates me. And that's Great. Thank you so much for watching. If there's a commander you'd like to see me build or revisit, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you just, like, enjoyed the video, you should share it with friends. And you should tell me, like, hey, Amy, I like this deck. And I'll be like, thumbs up. I, I usually review all of the, the comments I get on YouTube. Some of those likes, those are from me. Sometimes there's also little hearts. Those are also from me. Thank you for watching, and have a brotiful day.